In this video, I'm going to show you how to take action on your data with the Power Apps custom visual for Power BI. Let's go ahead and edit this direct query report and add that custom visual. You'll see that there's a brand new authoring experience that actually walks me through what's needed to um, use Power Apps within Power BI. Step one, select the field from my data set. Step two, either select or create an existing application. And step three, share and publish that application. Let's go ahead and do that now. Adding the fields. Let's set the environment to our champions onboarding and create a brand new Power Apps custom um, application. If you actually watched my previous video, you, you'll know that the Power Apps Custom Visual creates a gallery for you to look at your data or actually do interesting things with it. In this case, we want to edit it. So rather than using the default gallery, I'm going to go ahead and use a form. So let's go ahead and get rid of the gallery and resize this form. Down a little bit here, stretch it out. And I need to set the data source. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use the same data source as what my report is built on. and the same sales table and connect. At this point, I can select the fields and I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, roughly the same, actually I don't think I need that one, roughly the same set of fields. And you'll see that my form is now created for me. At this point, let's go ahead, and usually I would use a button. Let's This time let's go ahead and use some icons. I'm gonna add a plus icon for adding the data and a checkbox icon for saving it. So let's move that over here. And what we're going to do in the plus one is uh, do a new form. And we're going to go ahead and create that edit form that we actually had the Power Apps Custom Visual for us. And what was that called? It was called Form 1. And in this one is where the magic happens. We're going to go ahead and submit that form, Form 1. But in addition to submitting it, we're going to go ahead and do and use the Power BI integration object. And you'll notice there's a brand new refresh method hanging off of it that we can go ahead and invoke. So we're submitting it. Then we're asking Power BI to refresh the data set in the report itself. So at this point, I can go ahead and save. Uh, let's save this as Chuck's. And just like the directions, we want to go ahead and share the application. In this case, I'm going to share it with everyone in my organization. i got to spell everyone right, though. And share. And it looks like it was successful. And at this point, if we go back to Power BI, we actually should have our, our custom app already running. Uh, it was just that easy. Now when I hit plus, uh, let's go ahead and add a date. It looks like my report isn't using the date, so it doesn't really matter what we put for that. But uh, you'll see that Coffee Maker um, hasn't sold a lot. Let's say that we actually went ahead and have a brand new sales order, and the, pr and the price is going to be, I don't know, let's say that we sold uh, 1,200 of these, uh, and that was a Coffee Maker. So now when I hit this plus sign, um, what we should see is that Coffee Maker is, has been added and updated the report. Power BI automatically saw this update and refreshed itself from within the report. I hope you have fun with the new Power Apps custom visual for Power BI.